morning, everybody. Hey, I want to show you my tire. There's my tire. And there is a giant screw sticking in my tire. And see, it's flat. So it's in the back. I took everything out of the back, except the two cushions. And I'm going to reevaluate my Honda Element. I've had it for um, almost exactly a year, and I've been camping in it 50 times. So, I am very, very happy with it. Very happy. It's perfect. It gets good gas mileage. It fits me and the dogs well for camping. And uh, in the summertime, I can pop that top. I can stand in there. I can sleep up top. So, all in all, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to show you my new configuration as I work on it, making it better and better all the time. More convenient, more fun. I brought everything into the base camp. Here is my uh, foam board piece, that cutout space. I cut out originally because I had the uh, Dometic refrigerator in the back, which now I have in the front, but I still have that space there. I have five of these bins, one more over here with the broom on top. I have the bedroll, the table, the uh, cooktop, some miscellaneous bags and towels, the dog water, a pad for the dogs to sleep on. Oh, and there's Buddy sleeping in his, his little beddy. That's his indoor beddy. And there's Precious sleeping in the other beddy. Anyway, this is everything I have when I'm camping. And I think I'm going to be able to consolidate it even more. I really am wondering if I need all these bins. See, they're empty. I don't even have anything to put in there. Now, if I was going to camp for a long time, that would be ideal. But I don't even bring stuff to fill it. So, it's possible I'm just going to fit this even into a smaller space and see if I can um, consolidate and become more of a minimalist. See, I've got my little oh, spare tire on. They said that I can drive it for 50 miles, and I can't drive it over 50 miles an hour. So I really like to put things in bags. I have found over the past year that everything fits in bags. Bag here, bag there, bag under that towel, a bag here. Now these bins were nice. But look at I took everything that was in that bin and I fit it into this bag. Much smaller. Hmm. Well, I got everything back in the car and I really got it really condensed down to only what I need. And see the cushions are so much lower now, which I like, because the dogs have to see they have to climb up to get out of the of the uh, tailgate. So it makes them more secure so they don't fall out. <laughs> Anyway, see there, I've got the cushion, and then i got everything in that one bin, and then I've got my cooking stuff in that red thing. The blue sleeping bag is for the dogs, and the camel sleeping bag is mine. Then I have the um, table sitting up behind the driver's chair, and the other, um, that's the powder room, the blue denim sitting up between the seats. And it's so wonderful. I've got all the reflectics here. I have all the dog things in these little pouches here, and um, it's perfect. Do you like it, guys? Is it perfect? <laughs> so I'm always thinking that my next vehicle would be one of these vans, and I see one here in the parking lot. I just wanted to compare it with how big my Honda Element is and how big this van is. Here it is from the side. Yeah, the camper van with the bubble top is much bigger. has a max fan on top. Here they are from the front. All in all, I think I love my little Honda Element. But, who knows, maybe someday. It's been raining a lot here, but I finally got my tire fixed. 
the first day I took it over there and they said, oh, sorry, we can't fix it. We'll have to order you a new one. So then later that day they called and said, okay, we got the new one in. Come in, come get your new tire on. So all this happening in the rain, which is fine. I, uh, I'm all ready to go now. And uh, now I got to go back to work. <laughs> I have to wait another week before I can go on a trip. But that's okay. Maybe I'll just go locally around here somewhere. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Be sure and subscribe. Adios. Mwah. Jesus loves you. He gives you peace and hope. Well, this is a lake right near my base camp. And over there, you see the white dots in the bushes? I count nine egrets. Those big white birds. The biggest ones, the egrets. You can see how much rain we've had. This dock here, the part that goes from the water out to the dock part, is all is all underwater. The two ducks that are this side of the uh, dock that keep putting their heads underneath the water, that is Mr. and Mrs. Northern Shoveler. And then the ones to the right, just sitting up on the dock, that is Mr. and Mrs. Mallard. I'm going to see if I can get a closer picture of them here, closer up, without them getting scared. Yeah, you can see the male northern shoveler keeps dipping his head underwater. And Mr. and Mrs. Mallard are just taking a leisurely walk along the dock. Oh, Mr. Mallard just jumped in the water. And off to the left there, you can see a coot, also known as a peahen. Little black ones with the white beaks. The mallards are taking off right by the mirror there to uh, happier places. And the shovelers are still having their buffet near the end of the dock. The male shoveler, it looks a little bit different than a male mallard. It has a little bit more white on it, and the bill is bigger and thicker than the, than the bill of the mallard. Also, I believe the bills are different colors. I believe the northern shoveler has a dark colored bill, whereas the male mallard has the uh, more orange colored bill. Okay, I'm really signing off now. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And um, I'm glad I could share it with you. I personally prefer sunshine, but uh, rainy days are okay too. I'll see you next time. Bye.